Looking for a way to sound like an anime girl, but you have no idea where to look? Maybe you wanna sound like your favorite YouTuber. Hey yo, uh, how's it going YouTube? It's Markiplier. Or your favorite anime character. We don't want FBI at our home, so we're gonna tune it down a little bit. Worry not as I'm about to show you everything you need to know, so hang in there and enjoy the video. Firstly, we need to head over to this GitHub repo so we can begin the installation of the tool which we will be using. Scroll down until you see this portion of the repo. This is where you can download the software and install it on your computer. Now there are several versions. It is also available on Mac or Windows. Since I'm using Windows, I'm gonna download the Windows version. And one thing to note here, there are specific options which you can download or choose from. For example, we have the CPU or CUDA. So if you have a dedicated GPU, which you probably should, you have to download the CUDA version. Now on the older version, you can see that there is a Google Drive link. You can simply download it from there. Or if you want the latest one, you can click on the hugging face and then open this link. Then there you can choose from these. Now on this website, there are a bunch of different versions to choose from. You need to come back to the repo and see what version we have here. It's the 1.5.3.14. So we need to look for that here. Since this is not visible, you can simply click on the download button and it will show you the name of the version. Now, whichever download manager you're using, you can simply have a look at the name. And since this is the version we need, I'm simply gonna download that. But I already have the software installed, so I'm not gonna continue downloading this. I'm gonna cancel that. And you probably do need it, so you need to download that up. Up next, we need to create a folder. You can give it any name. We want it specifically for the AI voiceovers. So I'm going to name it as AI voiceovers. And here you need two folders. One is the models, which we will be using along with our software, as I will be showing you down in the video. And the other one is the software itself. So you paste your zip file here, extract it, and basically put all the files in this folder. So you have your installation right here. Now, once you have extracted all the files here in this folder, simply open it up. And now there will be a lot of files, but the only one we have concern with is starthttp.bat. So you can simply copy it and then create a shortcut here in this folder and simply click where it says paste shortcut. Then you can open it up. But there is one thing to note to install this software. You do need PyTorch. Since this is a Python based tool, it will install a lot of libraries and it requires PyTorch to install the libraries and it requires PyTorch. So you can install PyTorch by coming into this link and then selecting the version and your operating system and then simply the CUDA version. And where you see this run this command, simply copy this like that. You can open command prompt or any shell you would like. For example, I have command prompt here. I'm simply going to paste this and press enter and that will install all the libraries for you. So I am installing PyTorch. As you can see, it might take a while as there are a lot of files that have to be downloaded for it to actually work. So just sit back and relax while it finishes up. And now that PyTorch has been installed, we can simply close this shell and go back to our folder and then simply start this batch file. We can open this up and now we just wait for it to install our software. I'm gonna skip that part and come back to you once it has been installed. It's gonna download some things again as you can see clearly. So just hang in there and wait for it to finish up and let's continue once we have the software. Now once the software has finished installing it might ask you to allow the internet access. Simply allow that and then you will be presented with this message. Simply click on the start button and now you will have some interface like that where you can see some characters that are predefined or installed within the model. We can select one of them and try this out. So in these settings, pretty much you don't have to change a lot of these. I have an RTX 3070 Ti for the GPU. I have an RTX 3070 Ti for the GPU. And down here, you can simply select your microphone in the input device. And in the output device, you can select your headset or your speakers. Since I am using speakers, I'm going to select my USB device. And the monitor option, simply keep it at none and leave it as it is. So if we have a listen to this, and if we head up back here, we can see there is a start and stop option. So if we click start, we can actually start using the software. Let me show you. So now what you are hearing is voice from an anime director. Now you are hearing an anime director. Hey there, I am an anime girl. And my name is, I don't know what. Now this might sound pretty weird at first as you have to adjust these settings. If you have a higher pitch voice, you can up the tune 
If you have a lower pitched voice, you can lower the tune and the in and out basically means if your input volume is low, you can increase that. And if your output volume is low, you can increase this option and you can leave the index at zero or you can play around with these settings. So what I noticed on this software is that if I change this option from harvest to crep, it sounds a little bit better and the cutouts are kind of gone. And I also changed my input gain to three instead of one. Let's have a listen to this once again. Hey, once again, I'm your favorite anime dog. Now if you have a listen, you can see it sounds a little better. One thing to notice here, this is a Japanese character, so it might not sound the best in English. As you already know, the Japanese accent is very different and they sound extremely different from other native speakers. So we are going to create our own model and I'm gonna show you the whole process of how you can get your own model in your desired accent and language. So one thing to keep in mind about Chunk, the more you increase the value, the more you will have delay in the voice because this is going to use your GPU a lot and you can also read that there is an MS delay written here. So this is the amount of delay you will face on each of these values. And by far 384 works the best on most of the models. Otherwise you can play around with these settings and find out what is best for you. So one thing I've noticed if you put the value of Chang on 384, it instantly sounds better. And moving into advanced settings, you can play around with these. I haven't changed much of these here. I just only increased my truncade to 300. You can copy my settings if you want to, or you can try them out and see which works the best for you. So all in all, I think these are the best settings for this character. So in order to add your custom voice, I have this Discord, which is really good to download some AI generated voices. So if you come here on AI Hub and find this voice models panel, here you can search for your favorite YouTubers, something like PewDiePie. So you find those voices and you can click them. Then there will be this Google Drive. And then from this option, you can download the audio. I'm simply gonna click that. Then I'm gonna save this zip file. Then I'm simply gonna save it into our models folder. After that, simply extract all the files. And if you don't have an image file, you can also simply just do something like this. You can open up the image and then drag it into the Explorer. Now you have your image file. Now if we go back to our software and click on this edit button, and if you scroll down, you will have empty spaces where you can add your own models. So I'm simply going to click upload on the sixth. And here we have two options. We can select a model file and then an index file. You don't necessarily need an index file on most of these, but, but since we already have one, we can just upload it from here. So for the model, we need the .pth file. So I'm going to select that. And on the index, simply select the index file. Click upload. Once it's done, you can come down here and click the icon to upload the image. And we're gonna upload the image here. Click close. And now we have our model ready to start editing or making our own voice. Now what you can do is you can save your settings as each of these characters have their own settings. So you might wanna save these and then move on to another one. So click save and then click on the PewDiePie icon. Now we have a different model. And if we click on the start button, you can hear my voice as I am PewDiePie. You can play around with the tune. Just find out what works for you. You need to play around with the settings to find out which one is the best. Of course, it might not sound exactly like PewDiePie because this model is generated by an AI. There is that problem. But of course, you can play around with the settings and find out which is the best. And now I have gone ahead and added some more characters so we can test around some anime characters here. We have some anime girls. You might remember General Estet from Okamega Kill. And we have this character from Cyberpunk Edge Runners. You might remember this as well. So let's have a look at each of them and set them up. So for Markiplier, I found that minus eight or around minus seven for the tune is the best. And if we have a listen to this now. Yo, how's it going YouTube? It's Markiplier. Watch the video till the end and make sure to leave a like and subscribe. As you can see that these are really good settings and you can play around with these, make them even more perfect. And now if we have a look at one of these characters from an anime. I hope you are having a great day. If you didn't get a coffee, you are a dummy. Now I don't know how this character actually sounds like. And now we have the famous general estate here. If you're still here, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel. That will mean a lot. Hey there, it's me, another stranger on this software. Now I have no clue what I actually sound like, but you can have a listen to this audio and see do I sound cool or dumb. We don't want FBI at our home, so we're gonna tune it down a little bit. Right guys, that was it for today's video. Hope this video helped you. Also, you should definitely check out this video. And if you took value, let us know or give it a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.